three years, it feels like forever since I got a fatality, so let's check it out. You got a chance to play a little bit of it, and obviously you saw it. What are your first impressions? It feels very different from Mortal Kombat X. Yeah. Uh, it feels more like Street Fighter, to be honest. Really? Uh, it's very, it's slow pace. It's gonna take people, you know, a little while to get adjusted to that. It's definitely uh, gonna take some time for us to really understand the mechanics because there are a lot of new mechanics in this game that weren't in the previous ones. So I don't want to say anything too quick, jump the gun or anything, but there is a lot that we're gonna have to learn about this game. Who are you feeling as a character for MK11? Definitely Scorpion. He has a sword. He has a footsies that I like in the spacing game. So I've been having some fun with him. EX Teleport is safe, so. I have to ask, you know, MK has a really hardcore fan base and really resonates to people. Why do you think that is? Well, I mean, I was a fan before I started working here. So yeah. I was remember myself at 10 years old going to the 7-Eleven, playing Mortal Kombat 2 at the arcades with my yeah. brothers and my friends, staying there overnight because of the 24-hour plays. I used to love it. So, um, I mean, to me, it's always been nostalgic. It's been there around my whole life. And I've always been a really big fan. So I think it just to the characters, the personalities, you can relate to some of them. The and like, gruesomeness. The gr and then the gore, of course. Yeah. You know, how can you go wrong? Let's talk about the story, because at the end of MK10, we saw Raiden was corrupted by Shinnok's amulet. So where is this picking up? It's picking up directly after MK10. Okay. So, so yeah, so directly after the whole uh, Raiden part. So you're pretty much picking up right where we left off, which is really cool because we've never really done that before, and we, we really give this a lot to work with. Okay, so MK10 it, it took place over a 25-year span. Will yeah. we see that happening here? I heard time is playing a big role. Time is playing a big role, so you'll get to see a lot of cool stuff where like younger versions of characters fighting older versions of characters. So it's really cool. So like that stuff is really exciting. Getting to be able to work with that dynamic, but I've got to dabble a little bit into story stuff as well, so it's really cool to be able to deal with that. I think one of the biggest announcements of the day was that Ronda Rousey is going to be voicing Sonya Blade. Why do you think it was important for the team to bring her in? I think it's really important to be able to relate a character's voice with our games because we've never really done that before. Yeah. When I was first starting out, I remember knowing the character actors that were at the trade shows, yeah. and I've always related them to the characters. But after a while, we stopped using their likeness, and we just started using more 3D, more, you know, as technology got better. So I think it's good to bring some more people back into it. Also, another character reveal that we had, we had Scarlet is yeah. making a return. It's huge. You know, she was a huge fan favorite. So, you know, she was the DLC last time around, and people just really, really love her. That resonates with her. They just love her. So there's lots of fan favorites, but also some new faces as well. Can you talk yeah. to us about Garrus? Um, I mean, uh, the new character, Garrus, that's in the, uh, the demo that we showed today, um, he's like kind of has some time powers, so we get to yeah. work with a little bit something we haven't really worked with before. Yeah. A lot of like just rewinding, fast forwarding, cool stuff. You saw some of the stuff in the trailer that we showed off. So I think it's just really cool to be able to pull something new mm -hmm. after all, over the, all these years into Mortal Kombat. I can't wait to get my hands on this game. Thank you so much for spending the oh, time. Oh. April 23rd. Finish him. Ah! Fatality.